Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be a quick Philadelphia Phillies versus Colorado Rockies in Coors Field out in Colorado series preview where tonight's game, the first game of the series, is going to be at 840. It's unfortunately for us Phillies fans going to be Vinny Velasquez um, against Herman Marquez. Marquez is someone whose splits have been weird if he's pitched out of Colorado. His entire career, this dude would probably have ace numbers, but you know how the ball flies there. He struggled bunnies a little bit more at times. Bear, so you would hope the Phillies would take advantage of that because it seems like they would have to um, in order to win a game that Vinny Velo's pitching, who, of course, has been known to give up runs more so as a starter. The only time more recently we've seen some good outings from him, either in just one inning and then he stunk in the next inning, or just like any good thing capacity has been in relief. So... Um, I feel like Vince Velasquez, I just don't trust him as a starter. Maybe he's going to be an opener, and then I would trust him more since Hale hasn't pitched since the beginning of the week. Hale pitched good his last two outing, or his last outing, excuse me. Um, but if you bring him in as an opener, maybe try to get Vinny to go three, then bring David Hale in for hopefully maybe three more if you can get him at least through two. Then you have five innings, that's like the equal equality of what you've been getting out of Anderson or like your most teams get out of their five starters, four to five. So if you can get that, you'll be good. If you can get four out of any, then great. I just don't have the most confidence of that happening with him as a starter. This is the game I honestly project, even though the Phillies are the much better 500 team against the six and 12 Rockies. Um, I would just project them to lose because the Rockies actually do have guys that are hitting. Uh, Ryan McMahon has some pop. A lot of pop, actually. He already has six home runs and is hitting two seventy five with 10 ribbies. If Vinny leaves a fastball up to him, that's going to be gonzo. Ramo Tapia, surprisingly, has two home runs already. Yeah, but he's a good hitter in general, so he can get on base for McMahon or Trevor Story, who's obviously a menace. Don't let Charlie Blackman struggle early on fool you. This guy's not struggling because of old age. I understand he's 34, but he's going to get it going again. So hopefully it is not in the series against the Phillies, of course. And then you got guys like Jonathan Daza, who all of a sudden decides that he's hitting a great for them this year. A career 240 hitter that to start this year in 28 at bats is hitting 357. Not the biggest sample size, but you obviously have to watch out for guys that get very hot to start the season. You don't want to leave a ball over to him. He seems like he's a hot player right now. I just don't. Garrett Hampson's hitting two four or two fifty four. Then if you let him get on base, he's going to most likely steal a base. Already five on the season this far. Uh, your mom Marquez actually it's one twenty five. He's a good hitting pitcher, just like Vinny Velo. So Vinny is a solid hitting pitcher. So at least you have that. He's a good athletic guy, good hitting pitcher. My most exciting thing I ever saw involving Vince Velasquez wasn't even pitching. I was at the game that they put him in the field, and he threw out people from the outfield. That was fantastic. Um, but. Um, unfortunately, I just don't run as much as a starter. This is the game I would, unfortunately, at 8.40 this evening. Hope he proves me wrong and goes deep enough into it. That gives the Phillies a good opportunity to win. But I think he'll just start giving up runs early. That'll put them kind of in a flat spot early, and the Phillies will lose the first game. The second game, I am completely flipped. I think the Phillies are going to absolutely and have no excuse to lose the second game because Anthony Sanzatella is struggling big time early on in this season. Uh, Antonio Sanzatella... Um, he is just not doing good. One and three, five forty, a one forty whip, eleven strikeout. Um, he has twelve earned runs given up, five baseball. Uh, he's just not doing good this year after rising up last year in the short season to a three four four ERA and looking like he was moving up. He's off to a cold start. Doesn't mean he's obviously not going to get it going again. He has obviously proved that he has some good stuff last year, but at least in this matchup, obviously Aaron Nola to a guy that has a career 5.02 ERA that just emerged last year and is now struggling again, is has the huge advantage here. I would give that second game to the Philadelphia Phillies. So that would even up the series, excuse me. That one game to one coming into then the final day, which would be Sunday at Colorado before the Phillies, just so people, if they don't know, play three straight 745 games at St. Louis and then a 115 game on Thursday that hopefully Andrew will be able to join. He got busy with Orso, so couldn't join for the series preview for this one, but be able to join for the series recap of the Rockies and then the series preview for the four-game stretch against those pesky St. Louis Cardinals. But in the final game of the Rocky series, <clears throat> the Phillies will be taking on Jonathan Gray, who is bouncing back this year, um, according to MLB. It says Chase Anderson and 
Jonathan Gray, who's two and one with a two point four two ERA, and um, he's obviously pitching really well this year. Anderson's a guy that if you honestly didn't have that seven inning game, probably wouldn't have been out after the fourth inning. And clearly, if the Girardi trusted the offense, which has been struggling this year. That hasn't been the main reason the Phillies have won a bigger bulk of their games. It's been more of their pitching. And then they had some clutch hitting at times, but not good throughout the game offense really much so yet. Um, Anderson wouldn't have got removed in the fourth of the last game. So if this doesn't end up being the outing, because once you hit preview, it says to be determined for each. But then when you click on the game, it tells you Anderson versus Gray. If this does end up being the matchup, I'm fine with this matchup. Obviously, they have the advantage here with uh, John, um, with Jonathan Gray there because he's a more known commodity as a pitcher. He's a guy that looked like he was going to emerge just as an absolute just ace of a pitcher potentially and then kind of fell off and now seems like he's coming back. Where Anderson had a very good 19, was really good with the Brewers a few more years back. But other than that, now you never thought of him as one of the best potential emerging guys. You thought of him as a good maybe three when he was at his best. But I really do like Chase Anderson. He keeps you in the game. He competes at a high level. I think he's going to do exactly that. He's also a guy that gets ground balls. He keeps the ball down. He tries to keep the ball down in the zone. Well, that is fantastic for Coors Field. I honestly think he's a perfect guy. I honestly think Coors ain't a pitcher's park. But if he is pitching there, he's a guy that keeps the ball down, keeps the ball on the ground. I think he might have his best out in the season, surprisingly, to some at Coors Field. So I think the Phillies are honestly going to win two out of three in this series. Take the Chase Anderson game if he is in the third game. They absolutely have no excuse not to take the Nola game. I just think they have a chance to take the Anderson game. He keeps the ball down, just like Gray. And I think... um. That game is going to be a very good pitcher's game, and whoever's able to score a couple runs, even three runs, I think, will be able to win that final ball game. And then Noah, you just have to be able to score for him, and then he will be able to shut it down, and you should be able to score off of Sanzatello. So they should take two out of three. Tonight one is Vinny Velo against Herman Marquez. They got the advantage there. I know I'm confident in that. I don't think they're going to win tonight's game. But they will win the next two and take two out of three in my prediction. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day. That has been the preview to the Philadelphia Phillies versus Colorado Rockies series. It starts at 840 tonight, and then it is an 810 game in tomorrow's game. Moves from 840 to 810 just to let people know. So, again, enjoy all the games. Stay safe out there, and peace out, everybody.